Hello, this is not a spring chicken. The big news today. Or wait a minute, was that the big news? Oh, that Obama has saved the stock market. Wait a minute, is that the big news? Oh, or what is the big news is it's now the day after Labor Day and kids are going back to school. Well, meanwhile, we bring old Cam on with comments on the headlines of today. Ten year low. Bonds are totally worthless at a ten year low. Yeah. But I heard this morning the people were talking about the fact that something really stinks this time because the world markets in the last two days have fell by 20% and the American market is 2% and gaining. And it says it's a total and absolutely physical impossibility because the people there that are, 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 are selling are selling their stuff here. So why is our market going up? Oh. And GOP candidates in South Carolina vowed to carry the Tea Party banner. Oh, the Democrats are basically, I saw them this morning at about 6.30, this Debbie Wasserman Schultz refusing to condemn people for, I mean, they actually came out and said to kill Republicans and Tea Party members yesterday. What? And they just, uh, I, mean, I mean, I heard some of the people talking about some of the Democrats. I mean, one of the, one of the people said, you know, that, you know, well, you Republicans started it all with your racist attitudes. They still they point out the fact, they told Bob Beckel, show me one racist sign by a Tea Party member, one person that did the spitting, one person that did any of that. And he said, well, everyone knows you people are doing it. And then the guy, little big guy, said, I'm not you people, you fat old ass. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, that, I don't know what they're doing with that guy on that. I mean, certainly we know, uh oh, I gotta cover her ex's ears. Fox News kisses the rear end of Barack Obama, folks. No matter what you think, basically, they're going to stick with this guy unless someone else comes along to replace him in the party, and then they're going to go to that person, and they're going to dump on him, because the Murdochs do not want to go to jail. No. And he's, he's, they're running a criminal investigation of him right now, so... So you think their news isn't slanted? Yeah. Yeah. Well, I mean, when you've got people that are supposed to be straight newsmen, Basically, critic, you know, go. Well, why are they taking? Why are they doing this to you? Uh, there must be a reason why they're doing this to you. Yeah, because the guy, the he had a Gibson, basically supported Mike Huckabee, mm -hmm. and he's a Tea Partier. We knew that. Yeah, but the problem is, is what as the, as I heard one of the one of the people point out last night to Bill Schultz, he said you have to understand the Tea Party is mostly composed of the uh, independents, not Republicans. It is. Yeah. But there are some Republicans and Democrats. But the majority of them are independents that are fed up with both parties. They, they want spending stopped. There's nothing racist in their things. They want spending stopped, but that's racist to stop spending. And Obama orders GOP to support his spending plans or be un-American. I know. He, you know, that you're going to join with me to help our country first. Part of, politics comes second. Our country comes first. Well. Like they said that maybe he should have put the country first before he put his health care and all his, you know, I think it was 1,750 new regulations so far this year, and it's only September, hurting businesses. Mm -hmm. they, they said since he has came into office, he has put regulations on business amounting to $3 trillion over the next 10 years. They said that's more money than they take in in tax revenue he's put on businesses to crush them. And Lee's remnants spawn Georgia Twisters and drown a Mississippi man. Yeah, somebody didn't pay any attention to what they were doing. It's a kick. So, you know, that, folks, that's, that's how you deal with floods, is you basically don't pay any attention to them. Not like they did. In, well, because, you know, they, they didn't have any white journalists down there, folks. There's just nothing but old black boys. Mm -hmm. And Post Office, yet another government supported business that is broke and can't meet its obligations. I know, I'm going to have to put rest. Uh, unions, uh, they got a five and a half billion dollar union thing, uh, union benefits plan that had come due this month that they cannot meet. Well, you can't declare bankruptcy, they're saying. Well, they're going to declare bankruptcy, and then the union contract gets its rear end tossed out. You know, and Obama's going to lose more union support. And there is nothing wrong with the American economy that more government spending can fix. That's what the Democrats are all saying. We didn't spend enough money. If we just spent another trillion dollars, well, no. I mean, here's the trick is, no less than Kirsten Powers, who's a, uh, basically she worships the ground that Obama walks on, like a lot of people at Fox News and Bill Riley did. 
She said, she said, technically, we were never out of the first re recession because of all the government spending that was being done artificially rose it up. So therefore, we cannot go into a double dip because we never got out of the first one. Ooh. Yeah. Oh, uh -huh. yeah, that's how they're getting away with it now. We never, the first one has never been over. And until Obama lets things go, it won't get over. Well, here's part of it is, it really never was over, would be my... I know. <laughs> What's an inversion program? Well, an inversion program is the stock, when the stock market is going down, they flip a switch and it makes it look like it's going up. So you mean if the stock market is going up when it, when it should be going down, that we're probably at about four or five hundred points down today? Oh, you bet it. Mm -hmm. And Libya Rebels talks to Zoom over pro-Qaddafi town. Uh, it looks like Qaddafi. Okay, here's a good one. 280 vehicles, tanks, personnel, and limousines left yesterday. And then no one was firing on them. And there's only one person that could get 280 vehicles. Mm -hmm. That would be Qaddafi basically was escorted out of the country with the Libyan army which is the worst possible situation they could have because now he's got an army sitting in another country. And dancing with a star. Oh, that's bad. That's right. That's really bad. Yeah. Oh. And dancing with the stars producer gives Chaz Bono a chance to dance. Oh yeah, they said that he's really upset about the fact. He said, we've only had one transgender person and one transvestite and two gay people in the entire history of this program yeah, but then they pointed out all four of them are this year. Oh, really? Yeah, and they said no, none of them can dance. They don't know. Basically, there's not a person on this thing that can that isn't that doesn't dance like uh, Bristol Palin. Well, aren't they supposed to be able to dance? Uh, some they're always a phony one or two that can dance. This time they all look like they've got lead in their pants. Mm -hmm. Porn industry criticized over HIV scare. Uh, no, they didn't do it. The Los Angeles authorities did it. What do you mean? Well, no, the Los Angeles authorities publicized that the person had HIV when the person didn't have <gasps> HIV, so that they basically could force the porn industry to shut down. I told oh, people, that is like... Okay, liberals are more conservative than conservatives, folks. You're going to have to get it through your head. Liberals are the ones that are censoring everything, not the conservatives. They kind of forget about that. They run everything. So if you got censorship on local TV, censorship on cable, censorship on books, it's Democrats. They, yeah, they forget that Democrats are controlling those. Yeah. Yeah. And Iceland says it was bullied over bank debt. Yeah. Well, because it's just, uh, you know, they can't pay their bills because they don't have, they, they, their industry is fishing. And people like Obama put so many restrictions on the fishing industry that it's all going to shut down around the world now. That's horrible. Yeah, but we have to stop this fishing so that they can grow back. Well, they said uh, 660,000 families in a, are, are going to be out of work in New England because of Obama and his rules. Are you, is he really doing that? Yeah, he's doing it. The special is on it on all the networks about how his new rules to save the fisheries, not only here but around the world, will put our fishing fleets out of business and the Icelandic fleets and the British fleets. Well, part of it is they don't have to listen to him. Well, He's just okay, no, anybody on the other side of it doesn't. The people on the Pacific side don't give a damn what he says. Yeah. <laughs> but it's on the Atlantic side where he's pounding on people. You know, and here's a good one. Where is Obama's support at? Mm -hmm. Is it on the Pacific side? Uh-uh. Yeah. Is it on the New England side? Oh, yeah. Yeah. And... <laughs> Obama vows federal help for Irene victims. Uh, I didn't see him talk. There's no talk of federal help for, you know, oh, they're going to love this one. Irene is turning into a Category 2 hurricane as it steams across the Atlantic Ocean. Um, who cares? It's in the it, ocean. It, it can't turn into a Category 2 hurricane. Hurricanes do not exist in the North Atlantic. Oh. <laughs> they're still pounding at Fox News. Hurricane Irene is picking up storms, picking up speed as it streams across the North Atlantic, headed towards who knows where. Well, no, that it becomes a northeaster. It stops when a hurricane is cold water. It stops, folks. Mm. And a Monty bubbleism from the March Twain of the Animal Kingdom. Oh, uh, there, you know, there's, it's, it, you know, it's the time to throw in a towel when nobody listens to anything you have to say. But I, I know what it's like. Nobody listens to old Cam. At least not until tomorrow.